Give a duan and also in case you make it. Give a was you garani or the Anjanine or the Anine and Capri Tacos and Mother Dent. Near an open anime boy in our water. Tanya went up for the young way you push me like in the other key where men are better. Tapuan, can you never back with the canyon as well? Bianni Rudy. Give a make up your frog with Guzzo Sika. Can you wear it with a mouse in your house or to turn us up on a jammer? Sit an ebbing in Marone, be said. He said, He said, Mamma de Regicineke. Welcome once again, my amazing viewers. If you are connecting me from, I thank you so much for joining me on my program all the day. I really appreciate you, all your comments you are putting on the comment section. I read them from time to time and it encourages me to continue on this path. I am not doing anything to come against anybody. Like I'm not talking down on anybody. I'm not hating on anybody. I am preaching love. A love that will lead us to a better place. That is what I'm preaching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you if you are joining me from Africa. Asia, Europe, America, Australia, wherever you are joining from, I say God bless you. Thank you so much. Continue to be there. We will continue to find a solution. And very soon, very, very soon, we will all be free and we will have a cause to rejoice and thank God for leading us to the right path. Today, I want to talk about our leader, Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano, as you all know, the supreme leader of IPOP. Is person that have been chosen by God. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter the way you look at him. He's a gentleman. He is so tolerant. He is so loving, so kind, and he embraces all. Mazin Nandekano is not just fighting for Biafrans. He's not just fighting for Igbos. He's not just fighting for Nigerians. He's fighting for Africa. From every indication. Everything that he is saying and he is doing, it's only those who are talking out of hate or out of their selfish interest that cannot be able to see deeper from the message of Mazen Nandekano. There are things that are deep that you can imagine. Mazen Nandekano started the broadcast on the Biafran radio to sensitize people and tell us what is about to come. He was able to touch a lot of hearts, not just the Igbos. Not just the southerners, even the northerners. Mazen Nandekano touched every angle, touched every soul to wake them up what is about to come. Those who were able to listen saved their life. Those who decided not to listen, most of them have lost their life in the course of their, in the course of their stupidity. But this man, Mazen Nandekano, who has been blessed by God, given so much power that nobody has, as we speak, in the part of Africa now, I can tell you that Mazen Nandekano is the strongest man in Africa, as we speak. You can doubt it, you can disbelieve it for all I care, but I'm telling you that Mazen Nandekano, take it from me, that he is the strongest man in Africa, as we speak. This is the only man living who has been able to control millions of crowd from afar, only by his statement, by word of his mouth. There has never been such a man in Africa. Among all the people you call the heroes of Africa, none of them have controlled the kind of people that Mazen Nandekano is controlling. And still remains gentle. And still remains sane. And still remains innocent. Mazen Nandekano has been fighting this battle on every front. The elites came upon him. Even his own brothers came, up, came upon him. Are you talking about the South, the South Eastern region? The elites gathered themselves together. They ganged themselves up against him, the governors and the politicians. They read upon him the, 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 the Python dance. You remember what happened during the Python dance? It was in that Python dance that they tried to kill him. About 28 people were killed in his own house while the government were trying to kill him. To the glory of God, he escaped the death. He didn't die. He survived it. Then, the next thing we saw him, he appeared in Israel. And since then, he has been talking. He never be silent. The process of that pattern dance that the Southeastern governors organized was what took away the parents of our leader, Mazen Nandekano. With their soul rest in the perfect peace. We lost these two great people because of this very pattern dance. And Mazen Nandekano never gave up. He never compromised. He still continued to fight. He still continued to fight. He continued to fight for you and I, regardless of everything that he had lost. This is a man who is staying in a fact 
from that very far, he gives an instruction within a second, whatever he said is being carried out. He gives an instruction. Whenever he gives an instruction, whatever he says is being carried out. Not just by Igbos, not just by Biafrans, by everybody in that very contraption called Nigeria and worldwide. In Africa as a whole, most of the things that he said are being carried out by people. You see when he was lamenting about people using foreign names in their so-called countries. A lot of people are changing their name because of that message. Many places are renaming their places, renaming their, their environment because of that very message. Instead of using those colonial names, people are running away from that colonial names because of the message of Mazin Nandikano. Mazin Nandikano has touched a lot of life. He's a man to reckon with. There is nobody, nobody living or dead that can be compared to Mazin Nandikano in terms of control this time around, in terms of power. Nobody, none living or dead. Mazen Nandikano is the only man living or dead in Africa, as we speak, that controls millions of people only with his microphone, only by speaking online, only by broadcasting. Broadcasting not on a, not on a conventional media, not a, on a conventional media, on his social media handle. And whatever he said is being carried out by the whole world. You have IPOB. In every country of this world, you have IPOB. It's only when, the, if the country is not existing, that is why you will not have IPOB there. Wherever you have a country existing in this world, we have members of IPOB fighting the struggle of Biafra and independence, fighting for everyone to be free. This is what Mazen Nandikano has achieved from a distance. You can, there is nobody to be compared to him. He is the strongest man alive in Africa now as I speak. It is not easy. Somebody who can give a command from a distance. They come, who has ever done it? Who? Mention, if you have any, go to the comment section and mention. If you have any man, any man living or dead in Africa that has this kind of control, that has have had this kind of command and control that Mazen Nadekan is operating, Go and write it at the comment section. If you have had any man living or dead that have been able to achieve this, go to the comment section and put it down. When Mazgan Nandikano comes and pray online, when he prays before his broadcast, tells you that Chukwu Kukabiyama is in control, that whatever you do, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you think. What God says must come to pass. And God has given him a word. He tells you he is white as white as and snow. There has never been any, any guilt whatsoever that people can hold him for. When people bring their propaganda, them themselves that brought up propaganda, fall down with the propaganda. There has never been any. You can never talk of any time that he has been received any bribe. If Mazik Nandikal is somebody who is after his own selfish interests, by now he will be a multi-billionaire and nobody can challenge him. Just like some Ifulef in the eastern part of Nigeria and some Ifulef in the south-south, those who call themselves the south-south. Some of them who are there licking the ass of the federal government, you see the people they are owning. They pay them, they give them money. None of them were even able to acquire even an oil well from the government. They only give them peanut. None of them were able to fight for oil well and get one oil well. Those south-south people and the southeast, they can't even stand. But Mazen Nandikano was promised all this. He dumped all of them. He dumped all, all those promises. All those gifts, he dumped them and pursued what is right, which is the freedom of every single indigenous person in that construction called Nigeria. That is what he's pursuing. Not a selfish interest. If he was selfish, he would go for his own and he will live a better and greater life. And even if he wants to come back to rule you as a president, he will come contest and win. But that is not what he's after. What he wants is the freedom of every individual in that very country called Nigeria for them to be able to speak their mind, speak their voice, let their voice to be heard. That is what Mazen Nandikano is fighting for. Recently, you saw the tweet controversy. The tweet controversy that they are saying, they are, they, the federal government is saying that they banned Twitter because of Mazen Nandikano. That is what they are saying, because of Mazen Nandikano. They are asking Twitter, why, do they, why don't they take down the, 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 the tweet of Mazen Nandikano? Twitter has their fact checked. Whatever you tweet on Twitter, they have a method of checking whether if what they're saying is fact or not. They have a fact check. Muhammad Buhari tweeted, and people came down on the Twitter, reported that to not just Biafrans. It is not just Biafrans that made the report. It is not just Biafrans, not just the Southerners. 
people from all walks of life reported that very, that very, that very tweet, and the tweet was brought down. They came and said because of Marvin and Gano. That was why Twitter is fighting against them. Because of that, they banned Twitter in Nigeria. That Twitter should take down Marvin and Gano. This is the propaganda they are carrying about. You are talking about the strongest man in the whole world. The strongest man in Africa who speak, if not in the world. The strongest man in Africa who speak. That's what you are talking about. It doesn't matter. Even if Twitter decides to shut him down from Twitter, his voice will be going to every nook and corner in the world. His voice will reach there. It doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter what the media you try to close. He has outgrown that. And with the support of Chuko Gabiama on his back, with Chuko Gabiama with Mars and Nandika, there's nothing any human being can do. You can write from today to tomorrow, talk from today to tomorrow, you're wasting your time, you're just wasting your energy. The best thing for you to do is to find the right course. Go back to wherever you belong, whatever region you think you belong, go and protect that region from the terrorists that have invaded the place. I want to share with you a video, an interview that was granted to Dan Iwanyang. What Dan has to say about Mazen Dan de Kano. So that maybe when you begin to hear from some people whom you call elites in that very contraption called Nigeria, we begin to hear with them from them. Maybe you begin to believe that the person we have as Mazen Dan de Kano is not just an ordinary person you just push around. He is not. All right, let me take you to what led to the Twitter ban, according to the minister. Going back to the Twitter. No, 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 we're not going to. Okay. Uh, we're coming to how the insecurity situation in the southeast got into the Twitter ban. Uh, the minister of information and culture said that Twitter, as a company, had not pulled down the tweets of Nam De Kano, who is the leader of IPOB, through which he instructs his members to attack police formations, to go and attack correctional facilities, to kill policemen and, and all of that, and the people, uh, people he's giving information to from elsewhere outside Nigeria are carrying out the you know, uh, instructions he's giving them. That is part of the reasons why the government says they had to ban Twitter because it is trying to disintegrate the country and you know, deal with the uh, collective existence of the country. Yes, uh, the minister was right. To the extent of not putting down Nam De Kano's tweets, you see, that's why I told you. So what, that, why I'm, 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 I'm yeah, you know, so that we don't digress. We're okay. not talking about Twitter now. We're mm. talking about the fact that, you know, IPOB is being targeted, is being, you know, fingered I'm, I'm as the reason for all the attack I'm on police formations. I, I will not do justice to that question mm. without making this point. Okay. I started by telling you that the Honorable Minister had limited knowledge of all these new inventions. And there are young people working with him that should guide him. Twitter doesn't know who is president. Nigerians complain about the comments of the, of, the, of the president when he was talking about teaching them language they will understand and all that. Many Nigerians wrote to Twitter. People complained. Twitter looked at it and shut it down. Go and complain about Kano. I can assure you they will shut it down. That is how they operate. Okay, they cannot be reading your tweets when there is a problem. I know, but does Kano actually instigate people, IPOB members, to carry out attack on police formations? That's now, the point let, let I me, want to clear let me, out. Let me come to that, and I will answer that question by giving a, a small, very short history about how this is started. In 2017, after my program, I called on the president, one of the programs, to call on Namde Kano. The other time, this thing has not escalated. In any case, it was the president that made Namde Kano what he is. After all, that was Wazirike. I know. I don't know if you can remember that name anymore. Of a, uh, of uh, a. Mm -hmm. I said, look, call him. Here is a man. Who is not in this country. He has the capacity. To direct millions of people. To observe. Sit, 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 sit at home or any other thing for that matter, they will obey him. Mm. There is no leader in this country, not Chief of Afemi Awolo, not Nnamdi Azikiwe, not Ahmadi Bello, not President Mohamed Buhari, mm. that has mobilized people to that extent for an event without sending one naira. And you see them faithfully. I said, Mr. President, this is the kind of person you can do business with. Mm. He is not. 
Thank God now we have our southwestern people. We have Sunday Bowo coming up. Sunday Bowo coming up with all strength. I hope and pray that Sunday Bowo will be consistent. I pray that Sunday Bowo will be consistent for the liberation of the Yoruba land, for the liberation of the Ududua land. I pray strongly for Sunday Bowo, for those of us from Yoruba land who are not yet supporting Sunday Bowo. Make sure, make sure you don't, the, 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 the train doesn't leave you. If you are from the Yoruba land, from the southwestern part of Nigeria, make sure the train don't leave you. For those of you who are still supporting Tunubu, you will wake up one day to realize that you are in the Yoruba nation. You are no longer in one Nigeria. You are no, continue to look down on Sunday, Bo. Some of you say he's not educated. He doesn't know what he's doing. Some of you call him different kinds of names. Continue name calling. It doesn't matter what you think about Sunday, Sunday Bo. Educated or not educated, he is on the right track and God is with him. There is nothing, there is nothing any man can do. As long as he remains consistent, as long as he continues to speak the truth, there is nothing any man can do to Sunday Igbo. Chukwukukai Ibiyama has appointed him for the Yoruba land. Appointment of God is not about education, not about whom you are, not about you being from a popular, a popular family or a rich family. When God appoints you, he appoints you. Sunday Bo have been appointed and he took up the challenge. God will continue to protect him. So for those of you who are still sleeping, you better wake up. You better wake up. Wake up and embrace the reality. This is where we are now. For wherever you are coming from, wherever you are coming from, there is no longer time. The Biafrans are gone already. Ududuas are on their way out. The Middle Belt are fighting their way through. Wherever you belong, begin to air your own opinion. It is not hate. You are not hating anyone. Do not allow people to blackmail you with hate that you are hating people. Do not allow people to blackmail you that you are being an ethnic jingoist or whatever. Do not allow anybody to blackmail you as being a tribalist. No. This is not being about it's not about tribalism, it's about saving life, about making people to have peace of mind, about people. Allowing people, waking people up to realize that they deserve better. You are not being a tribalist. Don't allow anybody to try to, to try to talk you down. Let us add our voice as much as we can. This is the time. There is no time to waste anymore. Thank you so much for joining me wherever you're joining me. If you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. Remember, us, always add your comments after watching. Add your comments. Say it the way you feel it. You can contradict what I'm saying. You can air your opinion. You can disagree. Disagree. There's no problem about it. You can disagree on the comment section. There's no problem. Just air your opinion. We are all learning. I do not have all the solution. Likewise, you don't have all the solution. We are bringing out facts. If you have any, throw it on the comment section and we'll look into it. Thank you so much and remember less. Bye-bye. See you again on the next video.